friends, I'm well aware that it's December and you're probably all thinking about winter holidays, but no! No! I'm hijacking all of your Christmas spirit right now in order for you to think about Halloween! I worked at Halloween Haunt again this year. For those of you who don't know, Knott's Berry Farm is a theme park in California and during Halloween time it becomes not scary far. And it has a bunch of different mazes and different zones where street talent walk around, it's super scary. I reprise my role as Buttons, the emotional clown, on Boardwalk Street's Carnival. I made a video about my character last year and my experiences then. This year I wanted to expand on Buttons a little bit more. She had a wider range of emotions from being very sad to very insanely happy and very very angry. I also made an entirely new costume for her which I wore for about two weeks of the run and everyone loved it except for the one person I really needed to love it which was the head of wardrobe. Uh, he was very very angry because I didn't pass my costume by him first which you're supposed to do. I just sort of wore it out because I'm a rebel. And he made me wear my old costume, which was provided by Knott's, um, for the rest of the season. I want to show you what it's like to be a haunt monster, so we're going to go through sort of a day as a haunt monster. And then also, I'm going to show you what it's like to be a very scared guest at Not Scary Farm. Everybody would typically get there a little bit before their shift and kind of hang out until you have to clock in, and then you get your costume, and for those people in makeup, they would get their makeup done. I was in a mask, so I just would get ready myself. Every day before the park opened, our area would have a little pep talk with our head TC, our talent coordinator. He would often give us different challenges for the night and tell us what we were doing well and what, our, what we were doing wrong, and just give us advice and inspiration for the night. There was a clown in our group, his name's AJ, and he was sort of the dad of Carnival, and he would also give us little pep talks before and encourage us. I'm wearing a, my Knott's veteran hat because I've worked there for the last three years. And you might also be wondering about my Sheet Ghost shirt. Who is? Who is Sheet Ghost? Uh, nobody really knows. Sheet Ghost is a character who appeared backstage and would often be hanging around before the park would open. It is believed that Sheet Ghost uh, is a girl and that she worked in the trick-or-treat maze. Sheet Ghost is sort of like an internet meme, but in real life, and only known by haunt monsters. After hanging out for a little bit and getting ready, having pep talks, encountering mysterious Sheet Ghosts and other characters, it was time to go out there and be scary.
talent in our zone this year because a new group called the Seven Deadly Sins emerged in Not Scary Farm. They were a traveling group that would go throughout the park and they would interact with guests as well as all the talent and we were instructed to just be utterly terrified of them. Which wasn't difficult because they're all super terrifying. <laughs> but a lot of those people in the Deadly Seven were on Carnival last year. All of the rookies that came to Carnival this year were phenomenal and amazing. They really proved that they had what it takes. Being on streets was a ton of fun, but there's also a lot of fun that guests didn't get to see. You know, it's difficult to turn the clown off. <laughs> we would be goofing around backstage on our breaks. Just a lot of silly things happened. What the fuck is going on here? Steal food from people. It's great. <sighs> She's not even paying attention to us. She's too good for us. She's got phone calls to make. I want some of those fries though. Those, those fries. Her <laughs> this is what? cultural appropriation. <laughs> make out. Make out. Make out. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, gross. <laughs> Squid, I'm tired. I'm tired too. We're both so tired. Tired babies. Tired babies! Wow. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun in the break room. I even built a blanket fort. Seabass made some renovations to my fort and now it's even bigger. It's wider inside. Today's fort! <laughs> fort friends! Fort friends! <laughs> I am your god! <laughs> there was one night where we actually got pulled from streets because there was a dangerous situation. There was a riot, so they pulled us all off streets! I know! Uh, Yay, we're all back here! Uh, what happens here, not scary for everyone gets drunk and they decide to fight all the time. Clowns provoke anger, that's just how it works. People are very stupid. People are stupid. We were just being awesome doing our job. And yeah, then fights started breaking out. All the clowns back here. Yeah. There was a fight in Johnny Rockets, and then there was a fight in the arcade, and so they were just like, it's a riot, everybody get back there. So now we're getting paid to sit around. Yeah. So, hey, yo, so, so a little quick documentary of what happened tonight. Hey, I, so, I was on camera right now. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, the talent. Talent. I'm the talent. I'm the talent. I'm the talent. You have talent? Yeah. You have talent? So anyway, out there some kid, no, no, no. Some kid out there talent. Was, you have talent? Some kid out there, so, like some girl came up to me and she was like, boy, and I was like, girl! <laughs> but these safety precautions really worked because absolutely no one was injured, there was no altercation with our talent, and yeah. After a long night of scary and silly break room hijinks and craziness, it was time to go to sleep, right? <laughs> No. After haunt events, which literally means they take place right after haunt ends. So the events would run from 3 in the morning until 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. So there was broom ball, Rocky Horror, and skate night. I was only able to make it out to Rocky Horror because the other two nights conflicted with my day job. I don't know how to explain Rocky Horror to those who haven't been. Just go to a live Rocky Horror show. Basically, it's a film and people will act out in front of it and say their own kind of silly commentary and it's a lot of fun. This event was entirely hosted by Haunt Monsters and it was amazing to me that these people had just worked like nine hour shifts giving it their all, screaming, yelling, running around, and then they had this much enthusiasm and energy and excitement for Rocky Horror. It was incredible. Now it's time to tell you about the legend of Snow White, the terrified haunt guest. Snow White is actually my friend Devin, who I know from cosplay and conventions. She has short black hair and everyone who works at Not Scary Farm knows who she is because she's afraid so she got the nickname Snow White and people would often say backstage, Oh, Snow White's out there and everyone would run out and try to scare her because her reactions were just great. Her and her girlfriend Cora were there almost every night. They're huge haunt fans. 
So I put my GoPro on her one night just because I wanted to see what it would be like to be Snow White. <laughs> Come on! What's the matter? Do you want money, power, and ostrich? You want money? You want money? I'll yes. give you money. Get on the ground! What? On the ground! <laughs> what? I'm Snow White. <laughs> I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh! Oh! I can't do this! <laughs> Kill me right now! So long. Where do you think you're going? Uh, you touched me! God. I do not like to be touched! Get in there! Keep the blood flowing! Keep the blood, flowing. Keep the blood, keep the blood going! God, do keep the something! Keep the blood going! Keep the blood going! another person in a disposition at haunt, they could have a completely different story. If you're craving even more Halloween and more haunt, I urge you to check out Art Dracula's channel. He has a talent on Ghost Town Street, so he has a lot of different footage from that area, and he also has a full sheet ghost video. Definitely check that out. I don't know if I'll be able to go back to Halloween Haunt next year. It's a very invasive job that requires a lot, and life changes, things happen, I'm not sure. I will be able to go back, but if I don't, I won't be disappointed ending it on this year. It was my best year at Haunt. I got everything I really wanted out of it. I made amazing friends. I grew and expanded my character in all new ways. I ran with different people, trying out new techniques. I'm happy. I'm thankful and I'm happy. Whether I come back or not, I'm always going to be a clown. <laughs> Who are we? These clowns are family to me. Can I have my shoe back, you weirdo? Okay. Put it back on my foot! Wait, hold on. Hello? Hi. Really? Really? President. <laughs> President. Oh, you want to you speak to who? No. Here. It's my shoe! Right. What are those? What are shoes? What are shoes? What are those? What are shoes?
Sophie, parkour! 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 parkour.